Hello Aether Shark here and welcome back to another episode of Elder Scrolls. And today we are going to be heading to investigate the beach ship. And we're gonna look for some people here because we're trying to get reinforcements uh to go into a cave and find a cult. So let's see if this will be helpful. We'll go ahead and set a destination and we'll go ahead and mount up. I do have it set up to where I have random mounts because I do have a good amount. Uh, so you may see me just get on different random mounts and that's why I just have it set up on random. Okay, so it looks like this may be our destination. Oh, yep. Oh, we'll talk then. You aren't a slick arsed sea viper or a cabbage mouth castaway. State your business with the crew of the Prowler. Oh. Well. The hurricane killed hundreds of Marines. Why does it matter if one of them died in the cave? Well, that's kind of rude. Oh. Well, the Prowler is like a hen in the wolf den until she's seaworthy again. Maybe your Marines can prove they're more than two legged cargo in shiny armor. Oh. If they pitch in, I'll consider reinforcements. Are they up for it? Or are they all talk? I'm sure they'll help where they can. And I'm sure they'll be as useful as they were in the hurricane. Should they Damn. care to prove otherwise, they're welcome to do actual work patching leaks in the Prowler's hold. Maybe they can locate the replacement helmsman's wheel in all this wreckage. I'll uh, see if they can find a uh, helmsman wheel and patch up the ship. Oh, and our sun sighter. It must have fallen overboard when we beached. Our lookout saw those skink-fingered pirates make off with it. You'll have to get the sun sighter back any way you can. Uh, I have a few questions. Sure. Talking's easier than working. Well, ask. Hmm. Barnacles on the arse. And they're all sea elves. Malmer, they call themselves. Nothing more than pirates, if you ask me. Some say they have a connection to the water itself, but it's a lie. Anyone can learn weather magic like they do. Oh, really? Well, what's a sun sider? Captain Jimela uses it to navigate. I could tell you how the sun and stars show the ship's exact position, but none of it matters while it's in the Sea Viper's hands. Oh. Tell me about the Prowler. The pride of the long coast. We'll sail for the Dominion as long as they pay us to raid enemy shipping. Oh, okay. Uh, are you guys pirates then? John and Jode, don't let the captain hear you say that. Pirates steal and pillage for themselves. We're privateers, so we do it for whoever pays us. A crucial distinction. Oh, okay. Captain Jimela took over the Prowler a few years ago. She's smart, cunning, and deadly dangerous when provoked. She's also luckier than anyone I served. Every ship in the fleet smashed to flinders on Kenarthi's roost. Every ship but the Prowler. Hmm. Oh, there's all kinds of missions. You know, for having these other people do it, Why do I gotta do it all? Patch a leak, patch a leak. What's this? Locate a wheel. I had to search that whole circle for the vipers. And on, oh, she was right behind me. How's it going? These aren't Dominion sailors. They're privateers. Just our luck. Of course they are. Yeah, uh. We'll show that old sea cat what Dominion Marines can do. Mm. Nustella's is good with a mallet as she is with her sword. I can have her patch the prowler's leaks.
Yeah, have her patch the leaks. She'll have those leaks fixed in no time. What else? Oh. Edelus is the best scrounger in the regiment. If you want, I can send him out to look for a helmsman's wheel. He's on his way. Anything else we can do? I can handle the rest by myself. All right. I appreciate what you've done for us. We'll keep the prowler safe while you take care of the rest. Yeah, because it should. Yeah, it's just one now. So now I just gotta find some pirates. I didn't want them to do all of it. Oh, the pirates are straight there. <laughs> Hey! Rude. Really? Just you that had it? Make sure you check the hull for holes. Interesting. Don't want to go to a more hostile lake. That was fast. All right. There's room on the prowler for your marine friends, as long as they work for their meals. Uh, you promised reinforcements. I said I'd consider it. Captain Jimela is the only one who can make that call. Uh, then what does your captain say? Something you'll want to hear. You just made the prowler seaworthy, and Captain Jimela always pays her debts. Go talk to her. She only bites if you give her good reason. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Captain? Due to your efforts, the Prowler is free to sail once the tide comes in. Those Marines did their part as well. I have no reinforcements, but I offer what? something better. I know who's killing the Dominion soldiers, and I know how to stop it. Uh, okay, what do you mean? Our lookout watched the Sea Vipers drag a Dominion Marine into a cave. Later, he saw your friends remove the Marine's body. If we weren't so short-handed, I'd have ordered his rescue. But three of my own crew were missing. What happened to your crew? Before we understood the danger, I sent my crew to scavenge among the shoals, so we might repair the Prowler. We thought they disappeared, but one just returned, and she tells a harrowing tale. What happened to her? The Sea Vipers happened. Now there's a new storm brewing, and I fear they're the cause of it. Mustangui recovers below. Hear what she has to say for yourself. Uh, okay. Now we gotta go figure out what she knows. Interesting. Yeah, it's all stealing. Oh, I'm a Templar and I don't steal. So, let's go in here. Let's see what they have to say. The Sea Vipers are insane! They're trying to create another hurricane! Another hurricane? What do you mean? Sir Verkvild and I were scavenging for a replacement helmsman's wheel when the Sea Vipers ambushed us. They brought us to the island with the beached Dominion flagship. They'd done things there. Terrible things. Well, what have they done? Those filthy Maormer dragged my mates up and tied them to these serpent-shaped statues. Then they started chanting, and lightning surrounded them. That's when the storm began to form around the island. Uh, the sea vipers created the storm? Yes, I'm sure of it. It was a terrible sight. The sea vipers were so caught up in the ritual, I slipped free. Hmm. I tried to grab Sir, but the lightning held him fast. Then one of the sea vipers yanked at him. I saw the Maormer's wrist glow. Hmm. The Maormer wore lodestones on their wrists. It let them ignore those lightning bombs. But I couldn't find any more, so I jumped off the ship and swam for it. Please, don't let them sacrifice my crewmates. Maybe a little too late. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I got what stealing does. It's all gold. Running about. Okay, so that will end our quest for today. Um, the next episode, we will continue this journey and figure out uh, where the sea vipers are and hopefully stop that ritual from happening. So thank you all for stopping by.